What's up, fam? When cops realize they've been fired. Fired on the job? Dang, bro. Okay, let's check it out. So let me just make it easy. You're fired. After careful investigation. What? Investigation of body and dash cam footage, these six cops were fired. Oh, snap. We got six cops. Six different stories in, a, in, a, in, a, in eight minutes, guys. I like this channel already. Uh, you know, and so do others, because this video has like 200k views in like, I don't know, like two days or two weeks, I forget which. ...for abusing their power in mishandling situations. Let's my car. We'll make up as we go. Starting with John Kovac. Wait, what the heck? Man, do they not know that they just forget the body cams are on, bro? Like, why, why pursue the job if you're gonna be corrupt like this, man? Looks like this guy's been working long in the force, though. A longtime patrolman from Lorain, Ohio. Kovac was seen on his dash cam pulling over his daughter's boyfriend without any cause. He disapproved of their relationship, saying he's just not a good person. You're going to jail. Get out. Dude, that's messed up, man. Abuse of power, man. Now how is he going to take care of his daughter, bro? my car we'll make up as we go kovac or that's so messed up man that guy should get that guy should sue him bro like should sue the department like wow orders the boyfriend to get they better not arrest him into his patrol car and goes back to the car to discover his daughter in the back seat i didn't even see you get out of the car get in my car <laughs> She's in the backseat as well, man. What the heck? Now what is he even going to say, guys? You didn't expect her to be there. Goodbye. What? Goodbye. Kovac aggressively demands his daughter to get into his car. <laughs> dude, what? what is wrong with this dude? You got her, your daughter crying after this, man. This is so sad. This is hard to watch now. He claims he did it because his daughter was scuttled because she once said, if I can't be with him, I don't want to be here anymore. She said she was going to kill herself. Oh An internal investigation by Lorraine police revealed that Kovac lied to detectives and claimed Coleman's vehicle almost hit his patrol car. Kovac was fired after supervisors determined he violated police department standards of conduct though he will likely not face any criminal charges. I bet he's so embarrassed, man. As he, he's got to find a do, new job and everything, bro. What a huge mistake. I bet that's one thing he's going to regret for so long, bro, if not the rest of his life. Silly, silly, silly. Which, unfortunately for our next cop, was not the case. Sergeant Christopher Pulleys was involved in an accident that led to a joint criminal investigation by neighboring police departments. After the suspect is in his patrol car and handcuffed, Sergeant Pulleys confronts him. A female officer lunges towards him, pulling him away by his belt, which is when he shifts his attention to her. Pulleys was immediately relieved of his duties and was eventually charged with battery and assault on a law enforcement officer. Oh man, charges as well, bro. That means he got arrested. Sheesh. Our next cop. What a silly, silly. That was a quick story, though. Cop is actually a police canine handler who unleashed his dog on an unarmed man with his hands up. Following an incident on the highway, Yo. police detained a truck driver. Guys, we actually saw this. We actually saw this. Uh -huh. This is recently in the news, guys. This is quite new. Body cams, man. Body cams are for the win. While the suspect was on his knees, this guy's like suing them as well. And had his hands above his head. Speakman released his dog on him despite multiple demands not to. Get on the ground or I'm gonna send the dog. Here. You're gonna get the dog sick. Get on the ground or you're gonna get bit. Police canine, you're gonna get bit. Final chance, you're gonna get bit. Sir, Jesus. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up, don't. Do, do not, do not, do not, do not, get the dog off of it. 
Get the dog off of it! Bro, even his even his colleagues are saying get him off. Yo, that that's good. That's good. You know, it could have been worse. What if the colleagues were on his side, bro? That's good. He didn't comply. I gave him three commands. I told him it's not him. good. He let the dog out, but. Don't worry. If you don't get on the ground, you're gonna get the dog. He wasn't complying. I mean, am I wrong? But Speakman was not fired for unleashing his dog. He was placed on paid leave and warned several times not to speak to anyone about what happened. After multiple media outlets began to cover the story, Speakman was then fired because he did not meet the standards and expectations we hold for our police officers. Which could also taken out the game. Also be said for Officer Greg. He made a silly mistake, bro. Why? Why even do that, bro? <sighs> They they all told him not to, bro. Huge mistake, bro. All, all those years in the police force, I'm not sure if he's ever going to get his job back again. Gregory Damon, who dragged an uncooperative woman across the floor following an arrest. Yeah, that what you're going to have to do. That what you did at the force. Damon arrived after receiving a call about a woman sleeping in front of a medical office and refusing to leave. Come on, walk to my car. Walk to my car. Why are you saying that but pulling me? So go on and drag me because that's what you're doing anyway. You ain't walking. Just walk to my How car. How you going to tell me that but you pulling me as you said it Michael. didn't say it yet. She was arrested on a trespassing charge and taken to jail. Upon arrival, she... Guys, be careful if you're ever homeless or anything. When they tell you to leave, just leave, guys, because the, they will call the police and trust, give you like a trespassing charge. It, and it's not cool because, you know, you go to jail... You, you might get released the same day, but you still sit in jail for a while while they process you. It's not fun, guys. It's not fun. I don't think I got a trespassing charge before. That's one thing I haven't got arrest for, thankfully, man. I'm not trying to either. She refused to get out of the car. Got the car. When the f I got the right to get out the car when I had a right to get in the car? Miss Marshall, I'm going to drag you out of this car. I already know. I don't want to drag you out, me. but I need you to come get I out of the car. Do what you did off the porch of the doctor's office. The woman urges Damon to drag her out of the car, to which Damon gets frustrated and does just that. By your Stand up. You want me by? You can't pick my Stand big up. can I? That's what the officer was just. Stand up. Come on. He could pick my big up. She, she notices the body cam. She's like, yo, okay, okay. Jealous of my big You want me in this position, dog? Uh, I'm a phone, boy. An investigation found that Officer Gregory Damon violated several department policies during the incident and was ultimately fired for his action. Central Park, Rutgers, Tom. Next we have a Damn, bro, straight up. Dragged her, guys. I mean, thankfully she had like sweats on and stuff. So she wasn't really that hurt. That much at all, guys. Like, how how would they get her out of the car if she didn't cooperate, though? You know what I mean? Detention officer who was behind... Like, uh... It's hard to get someone out of the car. Like, you know, I guess they can, like, carry her on a gurney or something. Bars in the same she's just straight up, you know, not cooperating whatsoever. ...that he worked for. Tyler Moody confessed to sneaking a phone to an inmate after it was found in the cell. Moody was con Oh snap, oh snap. I'm sure something like this happens all the time though, guys. Corrections officer, maybe? Fronted by Sheriff Jim Skinner. Moody, I understand that you've offered your resignation, is that correct? I'm going to get fired. Have you offered your resignation or not? If I can keep my job, then no. Well, you can't keep your job, okay? So let me just make it easy. You're fired. Moody was not only fired, but under arrest and charged with a third degree felony for bringing a prohibited item into a correctional facility. Bro, a third degree felony, man. You're no Straight up join the prisoner he was trying to help, man. I'm an employee here. You understand? Yes, you betrayed the trust of every citizen that we have the privilege to serve. And you betrayed the trust of the brave and selfless men and women that you worked alongside for nearly three years. So as of this moment, you're under arrest for bringing a prohibited item, a cell phone, 
into a correctional facility. First thing I want you to do is stand up and take that uniform shirt off. Although Moody deserved to be fired, Officer Phil Kiersnowski found himself in a very unfortunate position. Sam? No! And that's so embarrassing, man. And they got the cameras rolling as well. When that happened. Phil pulled over the senator's daughter because her window tint was too dark. Because they were former classmates, the traffic stop was more casual. It's dark as hell. This existing relationship, plus the fact that it was the senator's daughter, led the officer to cover his mic and say this. I'm going to give you a citation. However, that's just because the admin's on our <laughs> over window tint. One phone call from your dad would probably get rid of it and save all of us a lot of, a lot of, a lot of heartache. We all said if we found you driving, we're going to write your ticket. You all said that? Well, we all know your window tint's real dark. No. Unknowingly to the officer, Senator Lundberg was on speakerphone with his daughter during the entire stop. One call from your dad would probably make all this go away. Afterwards, Senator Lundberg called the chief to make. Guys, what the heck? Yo, he covered the mic, but we can still hear it, man. Make light of the situation. I regret, frankly, picking up the phone and calling the chief at the time. I thought it was actually really kind of funny. Since I have a personal relationship with the chief, I called him and I was truly laughing and said, hey, chief, I'm from Nashville. I'm about an hour away. If you're targeting my entire family, I'll be there. This in turn made the department review the body cam footage of Kiersnowski, which resulted in him being fired. And he was at his desk and he said, uh, there's literally, he said, there's the officer's badge on my desk. My reaction is, Dang, bro. It's also like, why did, if he didn't make those remarks, bro, like, what? Fired for what? A memo from the department determined he attempted to disable his audio, which could be evidence, and he was insubordinate with his attempt to persuade someone to take action to change police department policy that he does not agree with. My wife has been in tears over this. My daughter has been in tears. Senator Lundberg has since hired an attorney to help Kirsnaus to get his job back. I never should have covered the mic. I regret that decision, but I mean, I stand by the, the comments that I made. I mean, he didn't have to like, if he stand, stands by the comments, he didn't have to um, like pull her over in the first place, right guys? You know what I mean? He, he, the thing wouldn't the the whole thing wouldn't have happened, guys. But he he chose to like engage and talk with her and uh, you know pull her over and stuff. Joe, Joe Goddard has no business being in uniform if he thought that after what he did to break the law, he thought he could keep his job. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe, check out check out the uh, original video in the description i'll see you guys next one peace out everyone thank you guys for watching later guys